My next guest spent the last four years investigating the role that Obama's FBI and CIA played in the Russian collusion hoax, where the entire country was up in arms. Devin Nunes is the ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee. He is author of the book Countdown to Socialism. Congressman, it is good to see you. Thank you so much Always for joining us. I want to get your reaction you. to President Obama saying that there were no ethical lapses in his administration, and then I want to get your take on where we are with those investigations you have been doing for the last four years. Well, sure, and good morning to you, Maria. I would just point out to your viewers that President Obama is the only president that I know that only moved about a mile from the White House. Set up shop, has all of his people there. Most of his people were promoting Kamala Harris to run before she bombed out, wasting millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, and then they propped up Joe Biden. Uh, so it's not just about how this is the first president that oversaw using a political campaign, using the FBI and DOJ to open an investigation into your rival campaign. That's as big of a fraud as you get in the history of the United States of America. So he's not giving up power. He investigated his opposing party. He allowed it to happen. If he was so high and mighty and above board, he should have told Clinton, Comey, McCabe, Brennan, all of them, no, we're not doing this. You have no evidence that Trump is some type of Russian agent. Stop it. He didn't do it. Uh, and here we're left with this aftermath of four years of this nonsense. And now we're sitting waiting for Durham uh, to complete this investigation. I think people are getting not only very frustrated, uh, but also there's a growing concern that Dur Durham's not going to come out with anything. Uh, and then Biden and Obama are going to be back in and they're going to shut this investigation off. So. I've been very clear about this. Every day that ticks by, it's going to become an absolute necessity that a special counsel is appointed uh, on the way out. Now, that doesn't mean that Biden wouldn't fire the special counsel, but at least you'd have a special counsel mm. office set up with money so that this investigation can continue. Because I'm not seeing the indictments uh, that I should be seeing at, when you take into the account that I've made 14 criminal referrals involving dozens and dozens of people. It's just extraordinary, Congressman, really. Do you think that the president will name a special counsel so that those people who understand what took place in 2016 at least feel like this will get a fair look? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the way I understand it is Attorney General Barr should be the one to appoint this. Um, you know, he's he's been the one that has been out talking and I have a lot of confidence in him. I think he's a straight shooter. I think he's probably also disappointed. I haven't spoke to him. Um, but he would be the one that would have to ensure that this investigation is continued on to the end. Uh, and I, I think there's nothing more important than after, you know, we continue to hear about how people aren't accepting the election results. And here we are only a couple weeks right. after the election. We have six or seven states that are extremely close. Uh, it's almost laughable that anyone in the media or anybody on the Democratic side of the aisle is even saying this. When you had Joe Biden himself, who was still accusing just a month ago, President Trump of being yeah. a Russian agent. We, you know, this is not acceptable in this country. C Congressman, stay with us. I want to get your take on the irregularities in terms of the vote for the presidential election and how social media played a role. We're talking with Congressman Devin Nunes, and we'll be right back on Sunday Morning Futures. Welcome back, and I am back with Congressman Devin Nunes, the ranking member of the House Intel Committee. And Congressman, I want to get your take on Joe Biden and whether or not he is getting intelligence briefings. A lot of these, the critics of President Trump are complaining that he's not getting briefings. Is he? As far as I know, uh, he has been getting briefings since after the Democratic convention and the Republican convention, uh, both presidential candidates get briefings. And this was the case four years ago when both Hillary Clinton and, and Donald Trump were getting briefings. And if you may recall, supposedly, reportedly, they actually used those briefings on Trump to actually spy on him, if you, you may recall. That's right. I remember that. OK. Yeah. Uh, Congressman, what are your thoughts on these voting irregularities? You heard from Alan Dershowitz earlier. You know what Rudy Giuliani mm -hmm. and Sidney Powell have been saying. What's your reaction to all of this from your role in the Intelligence uh, uh, Committee? And does social media play a role here? Well, uh, a couple of quick thoughts. Uh, number one, uh, in any close election, whether it's a local mayor's race or a congressional race, uh, elections don't get called. You know, we have several races in the United States right now for Congress that haven't been called yet. So, so that's the first issues. Secondly, 
Uh, if any of this technology is touching the internet and the web, that's very concerning. You know, as people, I've been drugged through this four years of Russia, 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 they interfered with the election. Um, you know, we worked hard to make sure there were paper ballots. Now, if some of that technology was touching the web, that's a concern. Uh, look, this is a very close election. It's in Joe Biden's best, best interest and his overlord Obama that sits a mile from the White House, like we talked in the last, in the last uh, segment. They ought to be the ones that are asking for every vote to be legally counted. Because you have to remember, right. the, the Democrats got smashed in this election. They got destroyed at the state level, the local level, congressional level, and the Senate level, assuming that we win these two seats in Georgia. So this is a yeah. guy who's, who's limping into the presidency, he was the first guy to run a successful campaign from a basement without actually going out and intermingling with the people. Congressman, I know you've seen a lot of changes now that you've moved to places like Rumble and uh, Parler as opposed to uh, Twitter. You're seeing many bigger numbers indicating that they were uh, keeping your followers limited on the others. We'll talk about that next time. It's great to see you this morning, Congressman. Thank you. Congressman Thank Devin you. Nunes.